Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we're going to be tying a really old pattern. Uh, this is a really, really old pattern. It's about 400 years old, um, but I put my own little twist on it. Um, it's the Alexandria. Now the Alexandria was originally tied with peacock sword as a uh, as the wing, um, but I just found that the peacock sword, while the peacock sword is really good for for the pattern, it 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 fell apart easily, especially if you had toothy fish uh, like like tigers and browns and brooks and stuff like that. It fell apart quite easily, so I adapted it a bit, and I'm using a synthetic for the wing. So today, what I'll be tying is. Um, this pattern here. So I'm using Crelex um, for the uh, for the wing. This pattern here is using uh, the Zemperfly Micro Glint for the body and a uh, um, Zemperfly Classic Wax in the fluorescent red for the hot spot. That's that pattern. Then I've got this pattern here. This one's actually done really well for me, um, and it is uh, again just a little bit of a of a uh, floss tail. And then I use the Zemperfly flat braid in a in a cream for the body, and it really shows. It really pops out, right? So um, that one's been good for me. Then there's one with a with a, just a silver body and a, and a red tail. And then I've actually used one with a, a lighter colored uh, wing. So today I'm going to be tying this version here pretty well. Uh, sorry, oh, that's that's not the right one. I'm going to be tying this one. This one here. That's the one with the Zemperfly uh, flat braid. Alrighty. So today in the vise, I have a Hens BL700 in a size 12. Uh, like I said, for the body, I'll be using some Hens, uh, some uh, a Zemperfly flat braid in the cream. I'll be using some fine silver wire. Um, I will be using, for the main part, I'll be using uh, Zemperfly Nano Silk in the 12 watt. And then for the hot spot, I'll be using the Zemperfly Classic Wax to the 8 on in fluorescent red. And for the tail, a little bit of red floss. And for the wing, some uh, Crelex Metallic. Okay, this is really good stuff. I really, always really like this Crelex. Um, it, it really has nice movement and everything in it. So, so let's uh, start our thread. I just gave it a bit of a wax there just to make sure it it sticks well. Go all the way back, come all the way forward to roughly where I'm going to stop. You want to leave yourself enough room up here for the head. Um, the last one I tied, I, I kind of kind of uh, crowded the head a bit, which happens. It happens all the time. Um, so just, uh, you know, just be careful when you're... It's always better to come back a little bit and you can have a more room for your head so so all I'm doing here is just evening up my that's about right there is where I'm going to end with my body so that's where I want to tie in that's going to leave me a little bit of a of a tie-in target of where I've stopped so not to go any further than that um, you don't have to use as much tail material if you don't want to so really short I'm not going to make it very long I want it about about half the length of the body itself so it's only going to be about that long okay just a little little tail alrighty then I am going to tie in my silver wire if I can get it off the desk I'm going to go back to my original tie in point I'm going to tie in some silver wire just catch that in just lightly. Then I'm going to take my flat braid, do the same thing. I'm going to catch this in on my side. And then I'm going to just kind of, whoop, didn't have that tied in well enough. So you know what? I'm just going to cheat here. I'm just going to tie them both in on my side together at the same time. So there. So they're all the way in. I just want to come all the way back to where I stopped with that tail. Right about there get my wire out of the way bring this forward I'm going to nice and tight there and I want to just 
just touching up against each other. There's a little tiny gap. It's not a huge deal, but you do want to try to get it as tight as you can. Um, I don't want to build up much more body than that, though. You want to keep this fairly thin. So try not to overlap too, too much. So now I'm just going to trim my vise so I can see this properly. I'm just going to give that a nip off. And of course, I nip off my thread. Happens to everyone. A big deal. Tie it back on. It's funny, I've uh, been doing these videos now for a little bit and it's, it's still having troubles trying to adapt to having the light in my face. So I'm kind of having a sometimes I have a bit of a hard time when I when it comes to the depth perception. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna counter rib my silver wire and I want four or five wraps something like that it's it's it, again fish don't count or anything and it's not like it's a, a chronomet or anything it's more for a couple of reasons it's for segmentation and for to, to help hold that uh, flat braid in place so now I'm just gonna place that forward I'm gonna really give that a good tie in tie that back Okay, now this wire, for some whatever reason, I don't know why, but this wire is really tough. So I always have a tough time helicopter, helicoptering this. Oh, that time it didn't go too bad. Helicoptering that off, but not too bad this time. So I'm going to go back just a bit onto the body there, because that's about right there where I want to tie in. Just a fluff of a throat. It's not going to be much of a throat. I do want to tie in a bit of a red throat on this one. The original pattern had red going down the sides, but I like having just a little red throat. Well, let me get that a bit wet. So I'm just going to tie in just a little bit of a red throat there. And I don't tighten it much because I'm going to, I want to pull this, be able to pull this back. Because I don't want very much. I just want to be able to pull that back a bit. Yeah, that's about it there. So, again, lift that up. Just get in there really carefully and nip off that excess by the eye. Try to stroke as much as that back, get that away from the eye there. That's good. Now I'm going to go all the way back again to where I started and that's where I'm gonna tie in my overwing. So just gonna take a a chunk of my Crelux and just figure how about how thick of a pack I want. So that's about as thick as I would want. I don't want it really, really long. I want it about one and a half, almost two times the size, the length of the uh, body of the white part of the body. So Let's go one, two times. So that's about it right there. Yeah, that's the plenty. I'll cut that off. And then just lay this stuff right on top. Trying not to crowd your head. Sometimes this stuff can be a little bit of a bugger to catch just because it's really slippery, this Crelux, but once you got it, it's good. So then, uh, that doesn't look very good. I'm actually going to back that off. I think I caught some of the, that red in it. Yeah, see, I did stroke that material down, get this back up, lay this down. Can have it over a bit and then pull it back away from the eye. Get that all tied in. There we go, that's better. So again, I'm just going to tie that in nice and tight. I'm going to give my wax, give my thread just a little bit of a wax just to help this hold a bit better. Like I said, this Crelux stuff, is it can be a little slippery, so you really want to get it nice and tight in there. Okay. That's pretty good. Has a look on that side, not bad. Twist just a little bit. So now, I'm just going to give this a little bit of a whip finish. Nip that off. 
get my classic wax fluorescent give myself just a little bit of a fluorescent hot spot head now you don't have to do the hot spot head um, I like it um, I just find that it just adds just a little bit to this pattern so give that a bit of a whip finish get tugged don't tug too much but enough to make sure it's nice and tight get in there nip that off now if some of these these hairs down here these red are a little too long for you you can nip them off just get them out of your way if they're a little bit too long if you don't like the length of the throat so but something like that then I'm going to take my pages crazy glue brushable to just make sure I stroke all this material back and just give just the tiniest little coat onto the uh, onto the thread just so I don't lose my half hitches okay and if you if you feel that you've got anything in your eye you can always just stick your bodkin in or a uh, feather run a feather through it and that's it so there so that's the pattern. That's that's my version of the Alexandria. Um, like I said, it's this this um, uh, flat braid from Zemperfly. It, it actually really it glows in the dark. I mean, you hit that with a UV light and it just shines. I don't know if it'll show up in the in the camera, but let's see. Yeah, a little bit. But uh, it it really pops that that uh, that flat braid that cream. So they've got it in several different colors. I think they've got it in reds and. Bunch of different colors, um, but this cream, I just, I absolutely love this cream. So yeah, so that's my version. Um, you can also tie it instead of a, a or this this fluorescent um, orange or fluorescent, I think they call this one fluorescent red. Yeah, you can tie it in a red to match the tail and match the throat. Um, but uh, yeah, that's up to you. And if you've got any of these little longer stragglies here, you can just kind of give them, don't ever cut straight across because that doesn't look right, but you can give them a couple of, just to trim that up a bit. And when this gets wet, this really slicks down and it fishes really well. Um, this pattern has been uh, an, an amazing pattern in the UK. Um, and as far as I know, for a while, I'm not sure now, but for a while, this was even banned. You weren't allowed to use this in, in, the, in the UK because it, it, it worked so well. So um, that's my version of the Alexandria. Like I said, there's, there's many different versions. This is not even close to the original. Um, the original, like I said, had peacock sword. It had red running down the sides and stuff. So it is a bit different, but uh, I found it works really well. So give that one a try. And uh, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Hit that uh, notification bell and uh, give me a thumbs up. And let me know what you want me to tie. Uh, I tie all kinds of stuff. I'm thinking that in the next few videos here, um, I've got a couple other um, leeches that I use uh, to hang under indicators. They're just tiny little leeches I, I, I tie on scud hooks. Um, and I've got a couple of really cool, uh, um, I call them floating dragons, but they're a dragonfly pattern that uh, it's buoyant. So let me know which one of those two you'd like me to, like me to tie next. I'll uh, if, Just let me know in the comments and whatever one gets the most uh, votes, that's what I'll be tying next. Thanks a lot. Tight lines and uh, we'll see you out on the water.